Yo, today we're talking lighting and we'll be looking at the W60 by Cobor, part of their new Wonder series of lights. Let's start by seeing what you get inside the box. This was already open because I typically unbox my products on Instagram. You can check out my videos there if you haven't already. The light comes in this box with foam inserts. Inside you get the light, a mini reflector, a silicone diffuser, and a DC adapter. The light itself is extremely small and compact, very lightweight, it feels good in the hand. Only weighing 345 grams, which is less than one pound. For reference, here's a look next to my iPhone. And though I like how lightweight it is, I'm not entirely sure it could withstand the beating from being tossed around into a bag from going from one street to another. It feels very delicate, but I could be wrong. Only time will tell. If you do want to see how well this light holds up to a few drops, I've linked the video down below for you to check out. On the front, you have a type of leatherette material to serve as a grip when holding the light. On the bottom, you have two quarter 20 mounts and an additional one on the side. And that I really like because it allows you to mount your light vertically should you ever need to. On the corners, you have two camera strap mounts and here you can see the different ways you can power this light via USB-C or DC power, but don't ever use both at once because that will ruin your light. This battery contact will go unused for now. In the future, the brand says they'll be releasing a portable battery grip that attaches to this light. But for now, we just won't use it. On the front, you have the mount lock button. I like that and you didn't say anything. Okay, on the front, you have the mount lock button, which, uh, it's, it's not the easiest, but only with the light protector. When it comes to the reflector, it's pretty straightforward. On the side, you have the power button. Press once to power it on and press and hold to power the light off. Above the power button, you have the brightness control button, which allows you to jump in increments of 25%. In order to make fine adjustments, you can use the wheel and move an increment of 1%. Side note, this is how you install the diffuser. Place it there, attach it to the cone itself, and then you push in from within. Then you snap onto the, onto the light. This light is bicolored, ranging from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. You can twist this knob to make fine adjustments or short press it to jump between 2700, 3200, 4300, 5600, and 6500. Finally, on the top side, you have the W60 indicator, and next to it, a wireless control setting button. You can press it and toggle between 2.4 gigahertz if you plan to use the Control One remote control, or app if you're going to be controlling the light using the Cold War Studio app. In order to pair the light, press and hold this button until the Wi-Fi icon starts blinking. Then use the app to finish pairing. Let's talk about the app. You'll need to download the Cobra Studio app in order to unlock additional features. On the front here, you have an NFC logo, which allows you to quickly connect to the light via the app using your phone. I've not done this yet, so we're gonna go ahead and try it in real time. Make sure your light is powered, then place the backside of your phone over the NFC logo, and that should prompt you to download the app. So it's saying that the NFC tag is detected, but there's no usable data found. So let's try it again. NFC detected, no usable data found. All right, let's just download the app. Okay, now that I have the app, let's go ahead and try that again. What the f <clears throat> Okay, now that I have the app, let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, now that I have the app, let's go ahead and try that again. Yep, there it is. Inside the app, you'll tap on add fixture and you'll be able to add the light via Bluetooth with the pairing mode or by using the NFC mode. Inside the app, you have access to CCT, gel, or effects mode. Here, you'll be able to adjust things like the temperature of the light, as well as the intensity of it. And you can see how quickly I can make those adjustments there. At the bottom, you're able to make fine adjustments. And at the top with the slider, you're able to make more abrupt adjustments. You could also power your light on and off from here which I think is pretty neat. Under the effects tab, you have 10 different effects you can choose from. You have fire, CCT chase, pulsing, TV, explosion, faulty bulb, welding, strobe, lightning, and SOS. Here's the fire effect at level three, for example. And here's the faulty bulb effect at level one. Now, I won't go through all of them here because you get the idea, but they're the typical effects that you get on a light like this. Inside the app, you can also select the fan mode you desire. You can choose from smart, quiet and performance mode. Performance mode has been the loudest without a doubt, but I've kept it on smart mode and it's been very, very quiet, which is great. 
this isn't bad. It's small, lightweight, and affordable. Only 130 bucks. But of course, it isn't anything we haven't already seen or talked about. Quite recently, we discussed a, a different light, very similar to this one in size, that has an integrator battery. And that's such a huge plus because you don't have to worry about DC adapters or power banks that are strong enough to be able to power this via USB-C. Of course, the brand did say that later on, they will be releasing things like that external battery that I mentioned, at which point I can talk about how beneficial that is. I do really like the app connectivity, being able to control my light from wherever I'm at without having to climb up a ladder to unmount it, adjust, and then remount. That's, that's a great feature to have. Speaking of mounting, I love the fact that I have two threads at the bottom and one on the side so that I can mount horizontally or vertically, depending on what it is that I'm shooting. I could appreciate that for sure. For now, we're only limited to these diffusers, but the brand will release a Bowens adapter for the slides, which will allow us to test it with larger diffusers like this one. If I missed anything, leave me a comment down below. And if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, Leave a like, comment, and share it with somebody. I'm very keen on connecting with other creators like myself who are interested in talking gear, talking equipment, talking about filmmaking and content creation. If that's you, let's connect. Shoot me a DM and I'll follow you back. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.